It's not always good to be your own economist because you're trying to predict what's going to happen to the market where, let's face it, lots of experts have got it very, very wrong over the recent years. I think it's more important that people focus on their need to move and that their property as a home rather than first-hand being an investment. So as much as I'd be taking information from indexes, graphs, things along that line, I'd be more inclined to focus on buying a home and not trying to play the market. If you're comparing the methods that we're using, all they really are, the big difference is how up-to-date ours are in comparison. If you take something like the land registry, the information on it is done quarterly on properties that have sold and have completed. That only tells you what happened three months ago, six months ago, and in many cases nine months ago as to how the market was, because that's when the properties came up for sale, that's when people went to view them, that's when they made the offers, and then they went through the whole process of going ahead, putting it under offer, exchanging a contract, then completing. And what we want to do is just be very transparent. And we want to be able to say to people and show people today this is what's happening today. This is what's happening with the number of people looking to buy. This is what's happening with the number of people looking to sell. This is how business is for us with our sale agreed either going up or going down as far as volume is concerned. We're not offering an opinion. We're not necessarily offering a view. What we're saying is here's the information. It's totally current. You can then decide what you think is happening to the market, form your own opinion and form your strategy based upon that. I use my own data for forming an opinion as to what's going to happen as far as a state agency in London property prices are concerned and how we should be marketing ourselves as a company and where we think the market is heading. By looking at the data that's available today, it's very clear that the number of buyers is rising, but so is the number of new stock coming onto the market. So it may actually be, when you work out the percentage differences, that there's not enough stock or there's more stock than you think is about. So therefore, from a vendor's point of view, you may want to be a little bit more cautious or, or less gung-ho than otherwise. When I look at the budget and when I look at the demand on London property prices, I think we're in, from a selling point of view, for a very good year. But I do think it's going to be challenging for buyers, and the data and everything else does make me think that London sits alone in comparison with the rest of the country.